Here is how to fix missing extensions in under 5 minutes. So if you open up the window menu, then hover over extensions, and what you're looking for is simply not there, that means Premiere is unable to recognize your extension. Now one of the most common reasons for this is, wait for it, improper installation. Most extensions get installed in a specific folder, and if the extension files are not in the right place, obviously Premiere cannot load them. Let me show you where the files need to go. Open up your file explorer on your computer, and basically what you need to do is you need to copy this exact expression or directory I should say that can be found inside the description of this video below if you're on Windows. And there is also a directory for Mac users. Either way, copy that and then click the search box and paste what you've copied there with Ctrl V or Command V. Now hit enter. Here I have some extensions that are installed already and as you can see, each one of them has their unique folder. If you cannot see your extension here, that means it hasn't been installed yet. To install it correctly, you can do that by using the Creative Cloud app, if your extension can of course be found there. However, if it's not, and you've downloaded your extension from the internet, and it requires a manual installation, make sure to extract the zip folder. If it comes with a zip folder, then simply copy the content you get, and paste it inside this exact folder. Of course, make sure the Premiere Pro app is closed down during this whole process. But here's the thing though, if your extensions file type is .zxp, just completely forget what I just said because that whole process won't work. I'll go over how to install that type in just a second, however before we jump into that, let's make sure Premiere Pro is even allowed to run these types of extensions. If you didn't know, apparently Adobe blocks unsigned extensions by default for security reasons, so we need to turn on something called debug mode. On Windows, press Windows plus R on the keyboard and then type in this word inside the search box. Hit enter. I'll get back with the Mac users, don't worry. But for the Windows folks, when you're here, search for the folder named software. Expand it, open up the folder named Adobe, and look for a folder named CSXS.09. If you can see it, double click on it, and if not, we're gonna create that folder ourselves. And this will allow us to basically bypass Adobe's restrictions in terms of accessing any extensions we might want to use. So right click the Adobe folder, expand new, and then click on key. Name this folder CSXS.09 and again you will find all of the expressions under the description of this video so you can copy them easily. Leave a like for that by the way. And then select this new folder and hover over the right panel. Right click with your mouse and click on new, then click on string value. Name it player debug mode and double click on it and set the value data to 1. Great, thanks to Adobe, we now have to learn how to do some programming ourselves to fix a common problem. I haven't forgotten about the Mac users by the way, and I did my research and it's even easier on Mac. Open up the terminal and type in this exact expression. Again, you can copy the thing from the description. Now, let's circle back to that ZXP file installation I talked about earlier. Basically, if your extension comes in a ZXP format, you can just double click it to install it, nor you can copy its folder or file and paste it in the directory I showed you earlier. What you basically need is you need a third party installer. Here for example I have this extension called AIN Transitions and what I need to do to install it is I need to get something called ZXP Installer which will allow me to install this type of file. I'll make it easier for you and I'll provide the link in the description. You can pretty much install it for free. You'll find yourself here on this website click download for either Windows or Mac, and then simply install the program on your computer. Next up, launch the ZXP installer app if it's not already on, and basically drag your extension file towards the app like this, and once you do that, it's gonna say that the installation is ongoing. Wait for a few moments, four or five moments, that's all it takes! And right after that, the app is gonna say your extension has been installed, please restart your Adobe application. Now open up Premiere, go to the window menu, expand the extensions panel, and boom! Your extension should be there, hopefully. I say hopefully cause sometimes things don't go as planned, especially when we're dealing with Adobe apps. So if the extension somehow is not shown up still, before you start pulling out your hair, here's a quick trick. Restart your Premiere Pro preferences. To do that, open up the edit menu, expand preferences, then click on general. Now click this little button called reset. Right here, check the box of the setting called reset plugin loading cache and click OK. What this could do is it could clear out corrupt settings that may be preventing extensions from loading. And with that, we finish off our guide. I hope this video helped you fix this annoying problem. If it did, please like and subscribe. 
let's get this video to a thousand likes somehow and let me know if this video helped you or not in the comments or if you have any questions of course feel free to leave them below